Welcome one and all to Blutter Games, my own let's play for tutorials, uh, playthroughs of games, and other things video game related. I uh, hope you enjoy your time here. Today we're let's playing through Yee's Origins, so let's hop right into it, shall we? Unica, axe-wielding fighter, mid-speed, mid-range, and Hugo. Energy firing mage, slow speed, long range. Let's be the badass mage! Yeah. Let's go with normal this time. I don't want to look like a fool throughout the entire internet. I'm going to go ahead and shut up and let you enjoy this opening. Des monstres démoniques sont apparus et ont commencé à envahir. Les forces diaboliques ont tout fait de ravager les terres, mais tous les habitants sont sauvés dans le temple de Salon. On aurait dit la fin du monde. C'est alors la peur au noir qui sauva Is de la ruine, car elle souleva les troubles dans les airs. Mais, aussitôt après ces soulagements fugitifs, les démons ont construit une autre tour, et une nuée de monstres aérés sont partis en direction du sanctuaire. Is, menacé de tomber. Pire encore, un événement imperviu arriva dans le temple de Salomon. Quelle histoire! Les dias jumelles, les descendantes de Is, ont toutes disparu. Dans une situation désespérée, les six ans ont pris une résolution. Pour constituer une équipe de recherche, ils ont organisé une sélection parmi des chevaliers et des sorciers. Enfin, les sangs, ils envoyeront à la terre des vaches. This is normal, it takes a little bit here.
Okay, we're finally getting some gameplay now. And I should note that this is running in 1080p at the highest settings for your viewing pleasure. I should note that if you're a fan of the action RPG, you really have no excuse not to purchase this game. It's wonderful. Uh, one of the best I've played, in fact. Right now, as of this video, which I posted on the 9th of July, this game is on sale for $4.99, normally $20 on Steam, so go ahead and pick it up. The other Yeez games are also on sale for absurdly cheap. I think it's 374 or something like that. It'll continue to be on sale for the next day and a half or so. Really awesome games. My style of Let's Play is to mostly stay silent. I'll occasionally provide some commentary, but uh, I want you to experience the story of, of the games as well, especially RPGs like this one, which have a fantastic storyline. Looks like we get to go into some combat now, fun stuff.
combat in this game is incredibly weird. You basically move with the arrow keys and use Z, X, and C. And that's weird. <laughs> I'm normally used to moving with the WASD keys, as are most PC games. But you get used to the controls. In due time. Dangerous to go alone, take this. Okay, so I can teleport. Noted. Finally, first save point. I've attempted this Let's Play numerous times, and this is about the third or fourth time of me going through the entire intro. For some reason, we've had some performance problems. Hopefully, that won't happen again. As clunky as the controls are, well not clunky, difficult to master, I would say. Once you get into the combat, it is... it is really fun. And the boss battles are truly something to behold. I can't wait for you to see them. We'll get to the next goddess statue and then we'll end the video. This is about where it started to, you know, lag horribly last time. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore, thanks to the adjustments I made. Ah, uh, get away from me! Come on! 
Dude, you're just leaving me open. You're killing me via cutscene. Oh, never mind. I have no idea how I just did that. Basically, the more awesome you perform in combat, the more buffs you gain, and the more damage and defense you get over time. As you can see from the lower left right there. Or at least that's what I believe it to be. Health drops are very, very, very hard to come by in this game. And the red guys are basically elites. They have way more health than your average bear. And do more damage. Nothing we can't handle. Sorry, I skipped that pretty fast. It's a sacred artifact. And we're taking it because of RPGs. Come here. Oh, Jesus. We're zealous, aren't we? I always like to get those turrets out of the way first. It can be really annoying. As I'm sure you can imagine. I am low on HP. I should really stop sucking. As you can see, there's some platforming elements to this. RPG. Make it really fun and interesting at later points when you try and go get new equipment. And all that's standing between you and death is a couple little platforms. Let's see if I can not suck horribly. Dear Lord, I have attracted all the bad guys, and I've gained a level. Great. Restores all of my HP. I needed that. And I've gotten pretty buffed up, too. I'm liking it. a lock door. I could tell. I have six cents for RPGs. Or maybe I've played this game before. That's that's, that's also possible. Oh no, where am I? What the hell, game?
Yeah, it's no sense dwelling on the trap or trying to fix it. Let's just head back into the room. You're a very bright mage, are you? Okay. For some reason, I am having technical difficulties again. He won't stop moving. He has an incredible, insatiable urge to move forward. And quite frankly, I think that's a metaphor for life, don't you? The unyielding urge to drive forward, persist, advance, to conquer new obstacles like a wall. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.